Okay guys, um, another little project I need to do while I have time. This is a closeout discontinued um, problem um, desk light that was greatly reduced and nice looking, no cracks anywhere. The only problem is, look, you know, the, the whole lampshade, lamp harp wobbles. So it was acquired at a home improvement store, so they could not fix it or didn't want to bother to, so they just discounted it to get rid of it. So what I'm going to try to do is see if we can't fix this little wobbly problem right here. And uh, first thing, obviously take the shade off. that off, try not to get it dirty. And again, I'm in the shade again, it's the middle of the day, and it's hot, so try to do this quickly. Um, so the problem is, as I can tell, is this heart is not tightened down. There's a nut under the, the light socket here and it's not tightened down to keep this heart tight so we're gonna have to get this off and try to tighten it down so kind of trying to troubleshoot this as I go so the whole thing is turning there so we're gonna have to try to prevent the whole thing from turning some way loosen the nut so we can tighten that nut down in the appropriate position. The whole rod, it may be that I have to take the whole rod out. So let's try that. I don't want to waste your time or mine. So let's see if we can do that. see that rod right here goes completely through up to the socket so this screws into the base of the lamp and this nut this nut right here has got to be tightened down on that harp to keep it in place so there's a screw sort of a set screw here that tightens the light socket itself onto that rod I showed you. So you need to loosen that up. Take it out. I think I'll take it out. Try not to lose. Let's see what we can do there. I'll do it from the bottom. It'll be the same difference. Look for this. Let's tighten the nut up on the bottom of the threaded part. And that should tighten the entire socket. And it's a thin nut, as you can see. And I've got a pair of adjustable pliers here. Adjustable wrench. We'll tighten it up a bit. Okay. So this part is... There we go. That part should be good. So let's pull the cord back through the lamp. Tighten 
run that down. And again, it's screwed into the base. Now all these lamps are a little bit different. Um, and again, whatever's gonna be the easiest solution is what you need to do. Okay, there you go. Push that twisted cord so you can untwist that. Okay, so that part is now sturdy. Um, let's turn that so the switch is in the middle. Put your set screw back in. And right there. We have a completed job. And you can turn this harp any way you want. It doesn't matter the lampshade. Well it does matter because this lampshade is a particular position. So we'll turn it this way. We'll turn the fixture slightly. There you go. Tighten it down so the harp is where it's supposed to be. Put the lampshade on. Put the finial back on the top. Tighten the lampshade down. And there you have it. No more wobbly harp. Just the way it should be. Uh, they could have done that at the store. The salespeople, the techs, whoever, whatever store it came from. And for the could have got 10, 15, 20 dollars more for that lamp. That's all they had to do. Uh, but either they didn't know what to do or they didn't care to do it. And uh, so now it's all good. Tighten that finial down. There you go. It's all good. Um, Lamp replacement parts. I haven't had these since I knew I was going to work on this. I just got a few of those out. You can buy these little kits. You can buy them as a kit or you can buy them individually. Again, it's your home improvement store. If you just have, uh, for example, the socket that's worn out, sometimes it switches. This was a, a turn switch. This is a push through switch. Same difference. I like push through switches and they work fine for regular lamps. If you got a three-way bulb, obviously you need the, the, the turn type. Uh, this is one I use the inside of uh, to repair something else. Um, you got lamp cord to uh, rewire lamps uh, that the cord is frayed on or needs otherwise replacing. So you can buy all those parts at uh, Home Improvement, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot. Again, your local hardware stores and what have you. But uh, again, quick fix, uh, nothing difficult to do there. Uh, you just have to make sure that uh, you break it down and see what the problem was. And you can see very quickly that the nut was not tightened at the top. Uh, but when I unscrewed the whole thing, I could just tighten it down at the bottom. It made it much more simple. Okay, quick fix. Here's an old replacement harp. Uh, probably should have thrown that away. It needs sanding down and you can spray paint it and use it again. Um, but that's the reason I kept it, I think. So, quick fix. Hope it was helpful. I'll talk to you next time.